everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned. I am Gabby, and today I have a 30 minute follow along barless bar workout for you all. For today's workout, you are going to be needing a cushion or you can use a towel and fold that up. If you've not hit subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get a notification every single time I upload a brand new workout. Thanks for all those amazing comments coming in. And let's get straight into today's workout. Bringing yourself into a standing position. Make sure your feet are underneath your hips. Draw the abdominals in. Sweep the hands to the side. Roll the shoulders backwards and down. Straighten through knee lifts. We go for a... And up. And up. Drawing the knees in front of yourself. Lifting those toes up. Let's energize through the body. Get yourself moving up and up. Option here. If you want to go there, you're going to take a little sweep forwards. Forwards. Reaching towards those toes. Sweep. Sweet, you've got six, five, you've got four, foot pedals in three, two, one. Feet go down, you're gonna start to change the heels, change and change. Now as you change the heels, reach the hands up, not gonna go all the way up today, because I don't have the shot. We go change the heels, inhale, exhale, fill the lungs, the body with oxygen. One more, sleep those hands up and drop the hands back down, inhale, exhale, well done. You're gonna now bring your chin into your chest, roll down through the chest, and you're gonna walk all the way in towards, move my pillow, a full plank position. I want you to bring your hands under the shoulders, you've got your feet extended backwards, the abs are drawn in, the feet are hip wrists apart. You're gonna inhale in, exhale, push to a downward dog, and then back in towards a plank position and hold. We go, inhale, exhale, downward dog, and stay there. Again, lower back down, now use the breath. Inhale, exhale, downward dog. So switch on your abdominals. You're getting a wake up of your anterior chain right now, so all those muscles in the front of your body, and you also get a little bit of a stretch through the posterior chain, the muscles in the back of the body every time you go downward dog. One more of these, down dog, back to a plank position. Shoulders flow over the top of your wrist here. Now step the inner thighs together. You've got this, stick with me, inhale, exhale. You're gonna lower down to the forearm. So you're gonna create a number 11 with your arms, forearms down, navel in, zip up, those jeans that have just been in the dryer. That zipper is hot, fasten the button tight. Pull the abs in, you've got just six side plank in five, in four side plank in three, in two, in one. Then from here, rotate left fingertips to your right elbow, and then you should roll all the way towards me, sweeping the hand high. You're gonna wrap this top hand underneath the body, back towards the ceiling lift. You've got this. Here we go. Wrapping it under, exhale, lift it up. Now modification, if this is too much, underneath knee, it just bends down towards the floor. So you've got a base of support there. Up to you where you go, push it up. Give me two more of these, wrapping under, reaching all the way up, one more of these. Reach behind yourself, well done. And reach up to the ceiling, now roll back to the center. We've got this, forearms press down towards the floor. Squeeze the abs in, squeeze your glute together, your butt together, in the thighs, squeeze together, heels over the top of your toes. You're gonna rotate right fingertips to left elbow, roll away, sweep the hand high, we go. Wrapping it under for two, exhale, lift it up. Inhale, wrap, Woo. exhale, lift. Now driving your top hip towards the ceiling as much as you possibly can. We are transforming your waist, transforming your waistline together. You've got one more, wrapping it under. You've got this well done everyone, all the way up. Now you're gonna bring it back to the center, onto those forearms. Press the forearms down, squeeze the abs in, nice and tight, the knees are lifted. Staying here for a nice deep inhale. 
and exhale. Now tap your right knee and lift. Tap your left knee, lift. You've got one straight line, crown of the head, down towards your heels. It's like you've got a golden string from your head to your heels. It's long, it's lengthened. Tap the knee, lift. We've got this tap and lift. Now option here. If you want to go there, let's get the heart rate up. Cardio burst. Tap, tap, tap. Driving the knees down to the floor. Nice deep breaths. Inhale. Woo. Exhale. You've got this change, change, change. Try and keep those hips nice and still. You have a final. Let's do it. Ten, nine, eight. Draw out the shoulders. You've got six. Push back in five, four, three, whoo, two, one. Well done, toes together. Open through the knees, push the hips backwards. You've made it through your warm up. well done. Slowly roll yourself up and away from the floor. Tuck the toes under, walk the hands in, slowly roll up through the spinal column. You're gonna bring your left foot forward, so you wanna mirror me and you want to bring your right foot backwards. You're in a lunge position. So you can either start from that stood up position that I just did there, or you can drop down to the knee, tuck the toe under, lift the knee up. That helps you get a really good placement of the legs. Now squeeze the abs in. Hands are going to go prayer for me today. You're going to take a tiny drop down hold. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. So I want you to make sure your weight it's equally distributed between your front leg and your back leg. I want you to squeeze the abs in. Tuck the tailbone under. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight. The back heel is nice and high. Down and squeeze. You've got this drop down hold. Now press the palms together. Find resistance between both of your palms. Open the heart forwards. Roll the shoulders backwards and down. Roll the shoulder blades into your back pocket. You've got five. Drop and squeeze. Four and three. It's like you're playing musical statues at that bottom hold. Two drop hold. The last one now stay there. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna give me just eight seconds. Seven, six, you've got five. Four wide second. In three, in two, in one. Now you're gonna twist turn towards your device. So twist all the way around to your face in me now and lower those hips down. Reach the hands to the side. We take a little drop, drop, lift, lift. Down, down, up, up. So you're dropping two inches, lifting two inches up. Go down, down, lift, lift, inhale. Exhale. Find the oxygen, don't hold the breath. It's so tempting to hold the breath, don't do it. We go down, down, lift, lift. Two more of these. One more. Now hold. I want you to wrap, push the back of your thighs back, back, back. Oh, it's so tiny though. It's a minute, miniature squeeze into your abductor muscles. So the muscles all in the back of your leg here. Working into the booty and the glutes. Working down the side of that thigh. Let's go, wrap and wrap. You're also working your turnout muscles, those adductor muscles, inner thighs. We go seven, six, five, four. You've got this three, two, hold. Sink lower. Inhale. I know. Exhale. You're gonna try to peel one toe off the floor. Dig the heel in. Hold there. Well done. And then lower the toe down. I know. Keep the weight equal. Other toe off. Woo. Can you get that balance? I'm challenging balance, strength, coordination, precision. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, but you can do it. We are in this together. We're going to change your thighs. The more you burn and shake, the better results you're going to get. Commit to your workout with me today. Lower the toe down. Two more. Dig the heel in. Low back down. One more. We go. Lift the toe. Woo. And then you guessed it, for the side. So, roll round into a lunge position. Hands go prayer, roll the shoulders down. We go drop down, lift up, drop down, lift up. 
If this is too advanced for you, any knee injuries or issues, you can always bring it that little bit higher, but really focus on that precision, those precise movements. So bar incorporates a lot of Pilates, and Pilates is all about that control, precise movement. That is what's gonna develop your body, it's gonna make you stronger. Lift, everyday life, drop, lift up. We've got this four. Let's go, three. You have two. Last one, hold. Give me just eight. Center in seven. In six, center in five. You've got to go four. I know. Three, two, one. Back in towards that wide plie position. Turn out through the legs. Sing those hips low. Let's reach the hands over the top of the head to make that heart work even harder. Drop the tailbone lower. Now stay here. Advancement option. Peel both the toes off. Let's get into that posterior chain deeper. So into your glute, into your back. We go. Little bounce. Squeeze. Little pulse. It's so precise again. It's so forceful. How much can you shake with me today? Just go eight, seven, six. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Well done. Give those legs a quick shake off. From here, drop yourself down towards the floor. I want you to bring, sorry, your hands underneath your shoulders, rocking on towards those knees, and then incline the body forward. You've got one straight line, crown of the head down to the knees. Open the hands a little bit wide in the shoulders. Push up, inhale the breath in. Exhale, lower. Whew. All the way up. Inhale here. Exhale, push it down. Squeeze and lift. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Push-ups. Elbows are going behind yourself. Option, go singles. Bend. Push. Bend. Push. Elbows, they dive backwards. One straight line. Front of the head to the toe, to the knees even. And you've got your eye line forwards here. So it's not all the way up with the head. Bring it about five inches in front of your fingertips. Let's go. Four. Three, we've got this two. Now hold as low as you can in your push up. Lengthen, crown of the head away, squeeze the elbows backwards behind yourself. Little drop, little pulse. You have eight, seven, six, five. We've got this four, three, two, one. Well done. Kneeling position, facing towards your device. I always say that. You're going to reach the arms into 290 degree angles. Little lift. Little lift, little lift, little up. Little squeeze with those fingertips towards the ceiling. Now take this time to work on your posture. Work on your spine. Crown the head towards the ceiling. Pull the abs in. Neutral spine. We go lift. Now start to draw fingertips together. It's a really fast paced class there. I'm trying to fit so much in. Arm burner, booty burner, thigh burner. It's all going on. Lift and of course abs at the end. We go up and up. We go lift. I'll squeeze those arms together again. Lift up. You can do it. You've got it. Just a quick three minute arm set. We go to the side. Lift, lift, lift. Now you're gonna draw your palms all the way together. Elbows touch. Nice degree angle. Now little pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. Push the palms together. Push those elbows together. But it's so good, we go, little lift, little lift. Now unfortunately, we're in this together, you can do it. We have 25 more seconds here of these pulses. If you can't feel it, I want you to think about drawing your elbows up to your nose and you'll find a deeper bicep shoulder burn. If you can't feel it, touch your elbows together. Press the palms together like you're praying to the gods. Please help me through this class today. You have six, five, Well done. Okay, next up you're gonna need your cushion. I'm gonna move my mic. Grabbing a hold of the cushion, prone lying this is called. So you're gonna grab the cushion and you're gonna pop it under your hip bones. Hip bones go onto the cushion here. So you've got a little bit of a cushion for those bony parts. Bring the hands together, drop the head to the hands. Then you're gonna squeeze 
your left heel to the glue, flex the foot and lift the knee up and away from the floor. Prone position. Now tuck the hips under, keep that knee lifted. The knee's gonna go tap, lift, down, up. See you going on that beat, that single beat. Down, lift. I'm really sorry if my mic sounds super muffled right now. I hate it when it gets to the part where I'm lying on the floor and it's like, ah, like you're in a hardcore gym class, sorry. We go tap, lift, I'm gonna invest in a better mic. We go tap the knee, lift up, tap the knee, lift. You've got this, inhale in, exhale away. You've just got five, lift, four more, three more here, just go two, now last one, lift and hold. That working leg knee needs to be in alignment with your hip. Now I want you to rotate the hip bones under and push your hip bones in towards your cushion or towel, whatever you've got. Make sure though that other leg is nice and long. You shouldn't feel it in the lower back. If you do, squeeze the abs in, tuck the hips under. Now point through the working leg toe. Keep the knee hovering up and away from the floor. You're gonna clamshell to the side. Keep the toe still, open into a clamshell. Oh my gosh, that burns, and squeeze it back in again. We go, open to a clamshell for two, squeeze it back in. So I wanna say so many things right now, but it's so hard, because I'm trying to do choreo, I'm trying to do timer. But imagine your toe is glued with super glue in the air. The hips are still, they're tucked under, glutes are squeezing together. All you're doing is opening a door. The knee is just opening a door, like the hinge in a door, and then close it again. It's like you're opening the door, hello, burn, and then you shut it. Goodbye, burn, but unfortunately it's still there. Open the knee to the side. Woo, who's burning? Drop me a like and a comment on this video if you have burned during the seat set today. Squeezing it in, two more. Open to the side. We've got it, weighing it together. Closing it in, one more. Open to the side. Squeezing it in. Now, tuck the hips under, squeeze the glutes together, butt together as tight as you can, lift the knee higher. Now, little lift. Lift, 20 seconds of a pulse out here. Squeeze the toe to the ceiling. Now tuck the hips under, squeeze your butt together as tight as you possibly can and pulse that toe to the ceiling. You have just eight, seven, other side in six, other side in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. You stay there. I'm gonna quickly flip it round. Other side. Lowering the hips on towards your cushion. Head down, make sure you've got the other leg. Lift the knee up and away from the floor. Tap the knee, lift the knee. Tap the knee, lift the knee. The other knee needs to be working now. Don't do the same side of your booty. You definitely will not be able to walk tomorrow. The knee is in alignment with the hips. Same hip, same knee in one straight alignment. Pull the abs away from the floor. So pull the belly button up and away from your mat. Make sure you're tucking your hips under, but squeezing your belly button in towards your spine. So it's like you're trying to imprint your hip bones and your pubic bone in towards your mat. You're trying to leave a lasting print there. Now squeeze the butt together. We go, tap the knee, lift on the beat, go tap. Now it is a tiny two inch movement of that knee away from the floor. You want it to burn through the booty area, through the hamstring area, which is right here in the back of the leg, tap. Lift, we've got this, five, up, let's go, four, we've got it, three, we have two, last one, now lift and hover the knee, up and away from the floor, keep that toe nice and still, you're going to open the knee to the side, and then you're going to close it all the way in again, open the knee to the side, close it all the way in again, We've got this out to the side, closing it back in. It's like your toe is glued in the air again, it cannot move. It's just your knee doing all that work. So the move is isolated into the knee, into the outside of the thigh. How much can we burn together today? How much can we change our butt? Can we make it rounder? Can we make it perky? Can we be the envy of all of our friends without getting bum surgery? We go out to the side. Squeezing it back in. Sometimes I cringe when I'm editing this back at all my stupid jokes. Bring <laughs> it back in. Here we go. Open the knee to the side. Woo! Squeeze it in. You've got four more here. 
Now keep the knees hovered up and away from the floor. Keep the toes still in the air. Don't give in. We're in this together. You're probably thinking, Gabby, I can't give you any more, but you can. Cross through that barrier. Make the change you want today in my class. Squeeze the knee in. Now hold through center. Knee in alignment with the hip. You're gonna press your pubic bone again. Hip bones into your cushion. And we're gonna go there. Lift that toe one inch higher. Lift the knee. Drive it one inch away from your mat. Little lift lift oh my gosh this burns squeeze the toe up inhale exhale don't hold the breath force all of your energy all of your thoughts right now in towards your butt just push all your energy there right now and think round perky bone we're gonna get it we go squeeze and squeeze you've got five four three two one well done we're not done with bum yet you're gonna take the cushion away now then I want you to bring your head back on towards your hands. The toes are in alignment with the hips, then turn out through the legs. If you can't turn out, the, the top of the foot stays facing down to the floor. Inhale the breath in, pull the belly button away from the floor, and flow your left leg away from the floor, low back down. Inhale in, exhale, flow the other toe. So we're just going opposite legs here. Inhale. Exhale, lift it up. Now, I want you to think about length through the leg. It should burn. After you've done this, just done that big seat section, this should really burn. Lengthen the toe, lift the leg, lower back down. So remember, you want to externally rotate, turn out from the hips, embrace your inner ballerina, that inner balletic style. Lift all the way up and squeeze, and lower back down. You've got one more with singles, then we're going to go doubles. Option, stay with that for the modification. Want it harder. Inhale, pull the belly button away. Exhale, both legs flow away from the floor. We've got this. We can do it. It's so easy. It doesn't burn at all. Inhale. Exhale, float the toes up and away. Turn out through the legs. On the up, squeeze the butt together. This is great for toning your booty, your hamstrings. It also works your lower back, your quadratum lumborum, that lower part of your back. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up now, grow the crown of the head super long, strengthening your body. Inhale, exhale, it's another Pilates influenced exercise. I can't think of the word, then I'm burning so much. You've got just two more. Low back down, now last one. You're gonna lift and hold. Keep the toes up and away from the floor. Now start to paddle, like you're swimming through the sea, but never let those toes touch back down towards the floor. Back to your mat, go paddle. Go change out this to burn. You've got five and four. You've got just three, two, one. Bring the hands around your chest, lift up. No time for a stretch. We are gonna stretch at the end, don't worry. And lower yourself back on towards the back. Bring the hands just around the side of your hips. Now lift one leg to a tabletop. Lift the other leg to a tabletop. Hands go under the thighs. Now tuck your chin to your chest. Curl the head, neck, shoulders off the floor. You're gonna shoot your toes up towards the ceiling. Hands are under those thighs. And now I want you to take your eye line just to underneath your kneecap. So just on top of those thighs. So you've got a really good placement with the neck. I want you to imagine you're gripping a orange between your chin and your chest. Now don't let the orange go. Now it's not a harsh grip. You want to think about that soft fruit. It's just balancing there. You're going to lower one leg to the floor. Lower the leg to the floor. And then lift it back up again. Nice and slow to start with. Other leg. Lower it down to the floor. Now as you drop the leg, catch the hands underneath the other thigh. Now flex the foot and lower the leg. Woo! As you flex, push everything you hate about your day into the floor. Squash it away. Flex and lower the leg down. You've got it. And exhale, push. Now this is going to get challenging, but we have this. We're in this five minute ab set together. We're going to tone and work our waist lines even more than we have done. This is your last section of your class with me today. It's absolutely flown by. So I want you to give it absolutely everything you've got. Drive resistance with the heel into the floor. Now option, let's make it a little bit harder. As the leg drops, drops away, the same hand shoots away and that should make it harder. Other leg drops away, hand shoots away. Ooh. And back in again. 
Lower down. Exhale, lift. You've got it. Let's go. Three more. Push it to the ceiling. Just go. Two more. Woo. Back to the ceiling. One more. Back to the ceiling. Option, you know what's coming. Shoot both hands away. Modifications stay with that first option. Lower the leg down, I know. Exhale, pick it back up. Any neck injuries, you can bring the hands behind the head as you lower the foot to the floor. Now this is quite advanced here. So if you're burning, if you're shaking, then well done, it's working. But if you want the modification, at any point, don't be scared to pop the hands just there. And then when you're, when you're ready to rejoin me, bring the hands away. We've got this, lift it back up. Can we get through six more of these? Of course we can. And squeeze it back to the ceiling, five more. Lengthen away, lift it to the ceiling. Four more, lengthen away. Oh my gosh, up to the ceiling. Three more, Woo. exhale, push. Two more. Exhale, push one more. Oh my gosh. Lift it back up. Now hands go back under those sides. Don't drop out. If you're going anywhere, you are going up, closer towards your thighs. Now draw the chin to the chest. You're gonna reach your hands over the top of one leg. Modification, stay right there. Cross the hands. Now go across the legs. I couldn't think of the word then. Like you're hammering something over the legs. Now I'm going to take this full form. I'm just not taking it full form because of my mic. But full form would be cross. Woo! Oh my gosh. Hammer something down. You have eight, seven, six, five. Catch the legs. I know in three, two, one. Hands under the thighs. That burned. Lift the head and the shoulders further away from the floor. You're gonna drop one leg back down again. Hands down to the thighs. Scissors, switch and change. Switch and change. Switch and change. We've got this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And a little bit faster. Switch. 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 We're in this together. We've got this. Burn. What's that? Switch. 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 Now option here. I think you all know what's coming. If you want to join me for this final part of the abs, you're going to take the hands away and continue to tuck, kick those legs for 15 seconds. We've got it. Hands away. Let's go. Kick. You have just 10, 9, 8, Seven, shoulder bridge in six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, bring the feet underneath the hips. Make sure your feet are in line with the sit bones. Lift the hips up and away into a shoulder bridge position. Hips go down and up. They drop, then lift. Sequential control the spine. So make sure you are tucking the hips under, drawing the pubic bone up to the ceiling and rippling, rolling through the spine. We go lift, lower. Option to bring those hands up towards the ceiling. Now squeeze the glutes together at the top. Dig the heels in towards the floor. Drive through your glutes. Make this one count. It's the end of your class. Give me all you've got. Cardio burst. Down, up, down, up. Now squeeze those glutes together. Let's work on transforming your butt, your hamstrings. Great for the core as well, this one. Scapular stability. Don't let the shoulders move. You have just eight, seven, six. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Lower yourself towards the floor. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Relax the body down and breathe in. Breathe, exhale, straight in towards a really quick stretch today. Three minute stretch, draw one knee into the chest, doesn't matter which one. Just hook the knee in, grab the hands on top of your shins, pull the knee up towards the shoulder, lengthen your left leg away, lengthen through that left hip flexor. Hold there, inhale, exhale. Well done, other knee in towards the chest, lengthen the other leg away and find a quick stretch, inhale. 
draw the arms and the legs as long as you possibly can, pulling your toes away from your hips, pulling your hands away from your head, inhale, exhale. Then you're gonna bring your right foot and pop it over the top of the left knee. Draw the knee in towards yourself. If you can feel it with the foot on the floor, amazing, hold there. If you want a deeper stretch, draw the knee up and away and you'll find a stretch all down through the outside of that glute, in towards the piriformis, in towards those seat muscles. Lower the leg down, switch it up. Popping the upper other foot over the top of the knee, if you can feel it here, amazing. Drive this outside knee to the side. Option to lift the knee up and away from the floor for a glute stretch, for an abductor stretch. It's like a science lesson my workouts as well. You're gonna draw the knees into the chest, rock back, rocking it forwards, taking a frog. Love this one. You're gonna send the soles of the feet together. Soles of the feet. Soles of the feet together. Open the knees. Grab a hold maybe of those toes of the ankles. Walk the hips forwards. Now popping the hands onto the ankles. Drive the outside of the thighs down to the floor. Sit nice and tall off your sit bones. Open the heart forward. You should feel it into those inner thighs. Into the hip flexors. Into the adductors towards an all fours position, hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, drive the hips up towards the ceiling, find your downward dog. Take a second there to just pedal through the heels, inhale and in, exhale and driving that opposing heels down towards the floor. And then you're going to bring both the heels to the floor, walk the hands in towards your feet, find a fold over and stretch the back of the leg. So stretching in towards your hamstrings now, you might feel it in the glutes as well, stretching in towards the back. Now let the head just dangle down, any tension you've got in your neck, just let it go, any tension in the shoulders, let it go. Maybe give yourself a little shake through the head carefully. Take a nice deep bend through the knees, drop the coccyx, the sit bones towards the floor and then sequentially roll all the way through the spine, rolling through the shoulders, through the cervical spine into the neck, into the head. Bring the feet underneath the hips, bring your hands to a prayer, roll the shoulders down, pull the abs in, inhale, exhale. Well done in your 30 minute barless bar class with me. Let me know how that one was down below in the comment section. Let me know how you found it. The pro lion with the cushion for the glutes. Did you feel it? How much did it burn? It burnt me a lot. Okay, see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. Bye.